Good morning, you guys. I'm still in my driveway. It's 6.03 a.m. And it's Monday. <laughs> this started, this is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The weekend was wonderful. Um, I feel fully, fully blessed. It was an awesome Mother's Day. I hope you guys all had a beautiful, beautiful Mother's Day. I have to drive. White rice is is what for dinner. She wants more, and Gigi had chicken mole too. Um, without the mole <laughs> and some more white, white rice. Why am I having problems saying white rice? I'm trying to put my waters in the fridge. Those waters I didn't finish at work. <sighs> Got some beautiful. I know it's too hot put away right now. I just. I'm headed to the shower, you guys. I just had some chicken mole and it was a delish. And sorry, I keep turning lights off. And I'm headed for the shower. And you know what happens after that, right? Let me huffing and puffing. Because I'm going to go outside and check the mailbox. Hi, honey. Is it dinner time, kitty? This kitty lets me know when it's time. Let me get the mail, honey, and then I'll come and feed you. Do you have food there? What's wrong with you? Do you have food and water? Anyway. <sighs> you guys, I've been doing a lot of walking. Um, <coughs> I haven't measured it yet, and I plan on doing that. But I wind up huffing and puffing just like I'm doing right now. It's embarrassing that I huff and puff, but I'm not complaining because that's the only exercise I'm doing right now. Yep, I got mail. So anyway, I thought I'd bring you guys with me to the mailbox because I said a little while ago I was going in the shower. But, um, I went to go wash the dishes first. And, I'm not going to take a shower for at least an hour. Because I'm going to let the dishwasher run. I wash the pots and pans by hand. Hey, baby, you got some food. Hey. Kitty. Kitty. What do you want, honey? Okay. You hungry? Are you hungry, precious boy? Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys see my, my little wind chimes? I love when the weather here is freakishly awesome. Normally, we have like 100 and, 102 to 107 degrees weather already. But here, it's been nice, breezy. I mean, it's not, it's not cold or cool, it's nice, it's like, 
I'm not hot and sweaty type. I'm driving home with no air conditioner in my car. No complaints. It's awesome. Oh my goodness, look at the sky. Happy hump, happy hump day. Happy Wednesday, you guys. Um, I didn't do anything to my hair, but put one of these thingies in it. I don't know if I'm gonna be happy with it, but oh well, right? I washed it, it's clean. I gotta fix it again. Anyway, happy Wednesday. It's 6 a.m. and I'm on my way. <laughs> Okay. P.S. I'm loving this weather. OMG. It's for me it's a massive blessing. I'm loving this cooler, overcast, cloudy, cool weather. <laughs> I hope you guys are too, wherever you're at. I'm so happy it's Thursday. To bring see I I have to take a second sweater. I'm wearing one too. I take this for my phone. I'm gonna do a video on that. And then my breakfast and lunch and waters in there. So I carried all that stuff over here. I really gotta go, you guys. I hope you have an awesome Thursday. I'm super happy it's Thursday. And I'm gonna try to vlog today. I'll tell you for this time. I got to film my Ipsy bag opening. I'm so excited I haven't opened that Ipsy bag and it's been here for like two days, maybe three. So anyway. See you in a bit. Holy moly, it is hot, but not like crazy hot. It's just because of the walk that I had. I have a long walk in and out. Oops, my hair and my hair flies all over the place. <sighs> Fingers crossed. My next wish is a new car with AAC on it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna dream out loud. My, my shades that I got for, for $1 at shopmessay.com. Love, love. I'm a massive bargain shopper lover. I'm on a cheapskate because I like good stuff too. But hey, you guys, this, you can't beat it. I like it. I don't know if it, how it looks on me, but it's doing the job. Gotta go. This is what I say. I would cry. Friday, you guys and I'm running late um, I just put my face on threw some clothes on and I'm gonna use this because I didn't wash my hair this morning you right TMI but it's a dry shampoo I was kind of playing with it earlier and I thought hey it's kind of foofing up my hair I've never really used a dry shampoo before and I received this months back, or probably, yeah, it's been months, <laughs> in um, probably an Ipsy. Uh, so anyway, I thought, well, let me just come and share it with you guys in an effort to vlog at home. Tell me down in the comment section if you've used dry shampoo, how this stuff really is supposed to be done, because I'm just winging it. So, after work today, I'm coming into town and going to work again at my other part-time place so I can have gas money to go to work out of town next week. Yeah, that's how I'm rolling these days, just trying to get, trying to get situated. The job that I work at out of town only pays once a month. I know, again, TMI, but that's why I stress about gas money, because it takes me about $10 a day to go out there and come home. I think that's going to do it. Yeah, I don't think so. Hope y'all are having a good Friday. Boo. <laughs> Boo with this close-up. Where's my little lid? I'm, oh, look at... I'm looking for the little lid for this. That's where I put it. <laughs> I need coffee. <laughs> um, uh, good Friday. Have a good Friday. Take this off.
Taking that one last look around. Put my little peace sign t-shirt on. Turn your lights off. I've got 10 minutes to grab my breakfast, coffee, and lunch. This is me running late all the time, you guys. All the time. Oh, Mama made me breakfast. This is what I do. Just one of these. And another one. And I have this. Do I have what? Oh, this is me getting in the car. I'm trying to vlog you guys. Okay, so. I bring this for my cell phone. And then my little, this is my lunch, breakfast, snacks, and I have my coffee. And then I always bring, no, no. I always bring an extra jacket for the office. And as you can see, I'm wearing a sweater. And if you want to see my long house, it's just a casual Friday. Um, I better, what time is it? 6 a.m. on the dot. That's the way I like to start the, my drive to work. I actually get in the car by six. It takes about 48 minutes to get to work. And we're still having some way awesome weather that I have no complaints about. I'm actually loving. So you guys, I'll be back. I'll probably, I'll try to vlog tonight at my second job. And see you then. Have a fun, finally Friday, yay. Friday. <laughs> I don't think you can see in here, you guys. But it's um, almost 10 o'clock and I'm just barely driving home. Yes, it's been a long day. This has been a very, very long day. I'll tell you about it once I get there because I got to drive. It's Saturday morning, you guys. <clears throat> I just had a shower. I oiled my face, washed my hair. And I'm going to, it's just a little bit before 8 o'clock. I'm going to one of the clinics close to my house so that I could do my labs. Now that I'm working um, out of town and stuff, it's kind of hard for me to keep up with my medical stuff that's been going on with me. So anyway, they told me there's a lab about a different um, clinic that I can go do my labs. And then they made me a late appointment later this month so that's what I'm doing I've been up I kind of slept in a little bit I was so tired you guys when I worked yesterday 14 hours 14 hours it was like almost 10 o'clock when I got home last night I was tired so um yeah that's what I'm doing right now Mom wants to go to one of the carnicerias to go get menudo. She wants to make menudo. Go figure. I don't know. I'm not going to argue with her because she makes a killer pot of menudo. But I kind of like have a headache. I drink like a half, a glass and a half of water because I know they're going to make me pee in a cup. <laughs> um, I didn't have my coffee. I have like a little bit of a headache this morning. I thought the shower would take it away. As you can see, I'm going out into the world looking scary. I'm scaring you guys, I'm sure. But I'm, this is just bad. What I'm gonna do after the doctors, I will go treat myself through a drive through at Starbucks. Load up with some caffeine, and I'll see you then, because I'm gonna get on the main road.
the doctors, you guys. Um, they just took blood. I drank a bunch of water for nothing. No, it's never for nothing. I still have to pee. They didn't want me to pee in a cup. I was like, are you sure? She's like, no, she just wants to check your blood. Okay. Anyway, I'm in Starbucks, you guys. Come. Come with uh, milk, espresso, and caramel syrup. We got caramel flavored sweetener, uh, all mixed together. I want the first one. The macchiato? Yeah. Very <laughs> popular. Yeah. Size is like a large one. Yes, ma'am. What else can I do for you today? That's gonna do it. Five twenty-five already. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'm a happy camper now, you guys. Happy Saturday. Come here, Mama. Okay guys, I finally made it home. I don't have mascara on, but I put a little bit of my face on so I don't keep scaring y'all. Um, I was laughing at the show, Roseanne. Oh, I love that show, I love it. I used to be jealous of Roseanne. Oh, this is dark in here. I have to change out the light bulb right there. It's been about two weeks. Anyway, let me see if I can put this down. Okay, you see my messy laundry room. I'm washing my comforter. It's heavy. Um, I used to be jealous of her because my middle son always said, That's my mom. I'm like, No, she's not. Anyway, now I think it's cute. I love these, they smell good and they work. Oops, sorry you guys for making big noises. Okay. You know how frustrating it is when you are filming and your camera just turns off on you? Anyway, I was putting my laundry, my comforter, in the dryer. And I'll wash my, lawn, my linens in a minute. Uh, I was talking about being jealous of Roseanne because my middle son used to say, that's my mama. But anyway, I love that show. Let me show you what I hauled over at Mom and I went thrifting this morning. Look at all the picture. So I got that mirror. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to get in there because I'm still all funky looking. But I love it. It was regularly priced for $8.56. And we got it for 4 bucks. This bag of fruit, regularly priced three bucks, and we got it for for one dollar. Where's the price? I don't think I have a price on it. Anyway, yeah, that's what we got. And then mom went into the ninety-nine cent only store, and she got me this for my grays, my touch-up. She got some of this, some tomatillos, and jalapenos. And then she got this Parmesan. That's from the 99 cent only store. Oh no. She also got Guerrero chips. The Max Barbecue Chicharrones. Two of them. And then she got these beautiful cards. So she got all of these for 50 cents each. Uh, 25. Oh, 25 cents a card. So she went ahead and collected for it. next season. They're really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I give them to my sister. I just put this on it or I give them to my girlfriend. 
beautiful beautiful anything like this I love right here so we went to the carniceria this morning it's right here on the bag because mama's going to make some menudo yum the bag says thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. so she got some menudo some hominy honeycomb and the regular kind and we already have one of these in the pantry she's going to use two of them so the hominy we got the chile wajillo chile japonés the uh, gluten-free guerrero put that over there canela cinnamon sticks oregano menudo mix and clavo she got that for another recipe and I know not everybody likes this, menudo or nopalitos, but these are both my faves. So, yeah, nopalitos. You guys, I'm huffing and puffing. I'm so tired. I think working the two jobs yesterday, one eight hours and the other one was six hours. Not that they were physically exhausting aside from all the walking that I do at my full-time job I'm trying to lay so you don't see all my neck hanging yeah <laughs> I'm being all anyway um the second job was massively busy I actually worked harder there um I think it was the hours you know the fact that I got up at 4 a.m. yesterday actually 3 45 and and then didn't get home till 10 a little bit, a couple minutes after 10. I'm tired, so I'm going to take a nap. Um, and I just thought I'd pop in here and tell you that. I showed you the haul. I was talking about Roseanne. I should turn it off. But anyway, I'm going to take a little, I'm going to count some sheep. This is me and Kitty. Say hi to you too, honey. Y'all. I just woke him up. I rolled over here. I put my pajamas on to take my nap. I was so tired, you guys. Oh, and I'm feeling, feel mean. Feeling, I'm feeling rested. Let me get my big fat hand out of the way. I was watching, um, I watched, you know, I was starting to catch up on, on some of my YouTube. My hair is bad. On some of my YouTube thing, uh, videos that I like to watch, and one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch was talking about her favorite YouTubers, and those kinds of videos always interest me. And she was talking about, um, oh, what's his name? See, it went out of my head. I can't remember his name, but I. I don't know if I already did. I'm going to subscribe to his channel. I love him. I watched one and a half videos. I have the second one on hold because mom wants me to take her to Vaughn's to go get a carrot cake. I don't know why she's been craving carrot cake. She's been talking about carrot cake for the past two weeks. So Vaughn's has good cakes. I personally wouldn't pick carrot cake, but yeah, I'll take her for that. I, start, I right away thought, hey, I'm going to go get me some mixed fruit. Have you guys noticed how I just jumped over a whole bunch of subjects from one of my favorite YouTubers to her favorite YouTubers? Okay, now this guy, I'm going to put his name in here someplace for you to see. Um, also with, anyway, um, he's... He was his videos that he's doing is talking about a dying channel, which is Graveyard Girls, and I was like, "What, Graveyard Girl? Oh my God, her channel can't be dying. I love her. I love her. I'm probably old enough to be her mom's mom, but I don't care. I love her. She's adorable. She's real and funny and." I love her channel. I love her. Does this thing really work as seen on TV type stuff? 
I love how I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not. Uh, I tell you, I'm just tired. But I'm not that tired because I got a good nap. Um. Anyway, he's talking about her channel dying. So I'm gonna keep watching his series about Graveyard Girl. Um. Because I really can't believe that her channel's dying. I mean, I love her. If me, as old as I am, can identify with her, and she's young and beautiful and vibrant, and, you know, she's everything a YouTuber would strive to be. I want to be like her. her. I want my channel to be like her channel. Anyway, they were showing some of her successes. Not a lot, because she's like dealing with sharing too much and that type of stuff but holy moly she is a successful youtuber and i'm so proud of her um because she's always kept it real she talks about her anxiety she talks about the things she loves she talks about her collections that her her things she let well, i said she, things she loves already didn't i uh she started her youtube channel uh by talking about ghost hunting. I think that's what got me. Because that kind of stuff, even though it scares the crap Ola out of me, it it grabs my attention. So I think that's how I found her five years ago on YouTube. And the reason why I know it's been five years is because that's when I, I even though YouTube's been around a lot longer, that's when I finally hunkered down to figure out what's this YouTube about? Because I was off work. I'd just been injured. I was going through a bunch of doctor's appointments, rehab, and a lot of just laying here in bed, um, trying to recoup and being bored. And I borrowed my mom's laptop then. I bought that laptop for my mom. She gave it back to me. <laughs> because I was always in bed. I couldn't move around that much during that time. It was five years ago. And I, I was... So I had to stop because my son walked in. He does not like being on my videos. That one absolutely does not. I don't think any of my sons like being on my videos, but this one in particular, whoa. One time he, and I told him, you just walked into my video, but I'll cut it out. <laughs> he goes, oh, you better. You know, he's, he was just being like funny like that, but um, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like being on YouTube. Anyway, that's a boring subject. Um, getting back to Graveyard Girl, Bunny, I adore her. I love her. And this guy that took his little entourage with him over to her house, they're basically interviewing her. And I knew she had moved into a new house. I, but it's not a house, you guys. It's a mansion, courtesy of YouTube, or from her success from YouTube. I don't know if it's YouTube itself or um, brands and, you know, cause I think she also has her own cosmetic line. She's got her own hair care tools. Um, oh, and, and I only learned this stuff from watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and link it here. Anyway, I love that guy. I'm going to subscribe to his channel and watch it faithfully because I love his personality, and I especially love that he's helping Bunny. Not that I would ever in my wildest dreams think that Bunny would need help. Because she's awesome. She's just awesome. Anyway, if you guys don't know who she is, which I doubt very much, you had to have at least heard about her, um, I'll link that video and maybe one of hers too down in the description box so you can check her out she's adorable like i said she's adorable um i've been following her for five years i was saying that earlier right when i got interrupted yeah because he spent a lot of time recouping in bed i couldn't move around mom let me use her laptop that i had given her one mother's day and she's basically let me i still have that laptop back here I always say, Mom, I'm going to be using your laptop. She goes, uh-huh. She rolls her eyes. Yeah. Uh, whose laptop? She goes, it's yours. It's yours. I don't I don't get on it anyway. So anyway, Mom um, essentially spoiled me five years ago. 
and let me use that or gave it back to me and that's when I discovered YouTube and that's and I did create okay and I had no intentions ever of making the YouTube channel ever but the more I started watching YouTube I think I was got the laptop mostly because I wanted to watch Netflix and back then I was watching um, Downton Abbey that's back when Downton Abbey was on the air and I was like hooked just hooked on that and then so I was like back and forth with Downton and YouTube and um, the reason why I eventually created a channel was because I wanted a thumbs up some of my I started I started falling in love with falling in love with channels and YouTubes and videos and people on YouTube I mean you can identify with them and you just want to support them and support their channel and so they can keep going and um, Bunny was one of the very first ones that I fell in love with that was her and then another channel let's say Bunny's is, was or is called Graveyard Girl but she has a couple of channels too not just that one but that's her main one and then the other one what is her channel she's named she's changed the name so I've known it as two and my memory's bad but her name is Jennifer Ross I loved her vlogging I before her and her husband had kids I was just so amazed at their lifestyle her lifestyle her styles, um, her home, how she cared for it, the things her and her husband did with traveling, and just, you know, her creativity, her craft room, her organizing. She did a lot of organizing. Um, I think she was in Chicago, or the outskirts of Chicago, in like a really glitzy, ritzy area. Um, now they have two little babies, so her channel has changed a lot, but I still follow her I still am linked and and I'm, I'm in love with her two little babies she doesn't share her children that much because she's had a lot of a lot of uh, flack or a lot of people attacking her online so she's really careful um, and doesn't like to put her kids out there she says she chooses to do that for herself she's not gonna infringe that on her family and her and her children because I know she's kept her family out of it her husband has come on a couple times on, to her defense during a lot of her attacks somebody even created a channel just mimicking her and I was like what why would they do that so it, that girl that did that other channel mimicking her I thought to myself it was like sad because she was just being mean and hateful. It was just hate. Because, I don't know. I guess I felt real defensive too because I really liked Jennifer. She, I just thought she was a sweetheart, smart girl. Very smart girl. And she had this cute little doggy named Bunny. Just like Bunny. <laughs> yeah, little Shih Tzu. And she had, has beautiful hair. And Anyway, so her, so those two. And then I started watching... Uh, now, this is back in the day, five years ago, okay, because now I have a whole different group, although I still follow these people as well. But back then, it was them, Candy Johnson, Dulce Candy. I love her, and I love how she's evolved her as well. Um, Nicole Guerrero, I love her. I love her channel. I love her vlogs. I especially love her vlogs. I started out watching all of her beauty. She's a beauty guru. She's gorgeous and smart and just an awesome person. And um, I, like I said, I, I started watching her beauty, her makeup channels. But after a while, it was just about her vlogs. I loved her lifestyle vlogs. Um, she lives in Florida. Who else did I? There's quite a few now. You know, I like I said, there's a lot more. But this was in the beginning for me back then, and I created my YouTube channel so that I could hit a thumbs up and support them and their channels. A lot of them were brand new back then or semi new, and now they're just they just exploded and they're like rich and famous. And I love watching what YouTube does for some people. And yes, yes, deep down, I wish this old lady can um, experience the same thing, even though I'm not young and beautiful. 
I'm old and I'm trying. <laughs> no, I just, I love YouTube and I remember the first videos I did was really, and I'm not to say these are any better, but oh, my first videos were just horrible and they're still there. I haven't deleted anything. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I'm going to throw myself together. Thank you. 